Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this problem, they tell us that a car starts at a position of 10 meters and at a time of zero seconds, and then it moves according to this velocity versus time graph, and then they want us to find the position at each of the times two, three, and four. So let's label those over here. We have X at two seconds, and then we have X at three seconds and X at four seconds. Now, since we have a velocity versus a time graph, to find the position, we find the area underneath the curve. So for number two, it's a little bit of an interesting shape because we have to come up, so it's not a triangle. But we can make a triangle and a rectangle out of it, and that's much easier than trying to find the area all at once. So when we do this, remember the position of the car is starting at 10 meters. So it's going to be 10 meters plus the area under the curve. And now that's going to be 10 meters. Let's break up the area into the triangle, which is one half times the base and the height, plus the rectangle, which is the base times the height. Let me erase these just so we have a little bit more space. So now when we plug in the numbers here, we have 10 meters plus one half, and the base of the triangle is two seconds two seconds, and then the height of the triangle is from four to 12, so we have eight meters per second there, eight meters per second. So doing quick mental math, two times eight is 16, and one half of that is eight, so this whole value will be eight here. And then we need to add the area of the triangle, which is a four for the height and a two for the base. So two seconds, times four meters per second. So we have 10 plus 0.5 times two times eight. And then we're going to add two times four, which is of course eight. So we have 26 because we have eight right here, eight right here as we talked about plus 10. So that is 26 meters for the position at two seconds. So now let's redraw the X at three seconds right here. So now here what we're going to do is we're going to take the position or the X of two seconds that we just found right there and we're going to add that area plus this little triangle right here. So one half times the base and the height again. So that will be 26 meters for what we found for X at two seconds plus one half times the base, which is one second. So one second times the height, which is four seconds. So four times one is four, so that'll be two. So you can put it into the calculator if you want, but with some quick mental math, we know it's going to be 28 meters for position at T is three seconds. All right, and then lastly, let's come over here and do X at four seconds from three to four, and that's gonna be like that right there. I extended the line a little bit further past than I should have, but it's this triangle, and we have the exact same thing that we just did for three. We're gonna have the position of X at three seconds, and we're going to add the area un underneath the curve, which is going to be one half times the base times the height, because we have another triangle. So now when we do this, we have 28 meters for X at three seconds, and we're gonna add one half times the base, which is one second again, times the height, and the height is a negative four meters per second. Whoops, I added a four seconds over here. Sorry, don't let that confuse you. That's meters per second. We have the exact same math here as right here. It's just a negative. So we have a negative four times a one is a negative four times a half is a negative two. So the position of X at four is we've gone backwards because we have a negative velocity now, another two meters. So we will have 26 meters again for the position at four seconds. And now for part B, they ask us, does the position ever change direction? And if so, at what time is it doing it? So if you think about what's happening, we have the, the car going in a positive X direction for zero to one, two, three seconds. 
because we have a positive velocity. Now the velocity is slowing, but it's still going in the positive direction. Right at three seconds, there is no velocity to it. It's at zero. So it stops, and now we have a negative velocity. So it stops right here, and then it turns around and is going backwards. So the car does change direction, and it changes direction at a time of three seconds.